Hello and welcome back to another episode of Bringing Back the Glory on Football Manager 2020 with Aberdeen. Today we play in the Europa League quarterfinal against Real Sociedad and also in the Scottish Cup semi-final. Here's hoping it goes better than it did in real life. I'm still not over it. I've punched holes in walls. Ooh, you're hard showing off. Great chance. Cooper must make it four. He does. Oh. I think I would have to say now that this is the greatest team that Aberdeen have ever had. Aberdeen have definitely won the championship. Aberdeen with McGee making the break, and Hewitt waiting in the middle! Hewitt! But yeah, since you last saw that epic 3-2 win over Villarreal that saw us through into the quarterfinal. We've played Rangers. We won 1-0. That's despite Contessao getting sent off in the 14th minute. Jonathan popped up at Ibrox with four minutes left to go and put in a belter. It was an absolute unreal goal. And then we played Motherwell, scraped by 1-0 win. Uh, Ryan Edmondson penalty, but, you know, it's the three points that counts. It doesn't matter. Then Hamilton got papped. Scott McKenna scored. Contessao at the double and Fraser. Then it all went downhill. We played Hibernian, they are 6th in the league or something, and we lost 2-1. But if you look at the schedule for this, it was an absolute disaster, because it was Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, and that Tuesday game against Hibs was in the international break, so we were missing guys like Consasau and a few others. So I'm making mis- uh, excuses, um, yeah, you'll see some more excuses in just a second. I'll show you the schedule for today. Okay. We play Kilmarnock in the Scottish Cup semi-final on Saturday. Then it's Falkirk of the League on Tuesday before Real Sociedad in the Europa League on Thursday. I don't know how that's in any way fair. I'm getting my excuses in early. If we're knackered, that's what I'm blaming it on. I'll play these two games, the Kilmarnock and the Sociedad games, and I'll let you know on the Falkirk game in between. I bet you can't bloody well wait. The team we go with for today is Montipo, Felipe Cruz, Porteous, Finlay, Jonathan, Ferguson, Campbell, Proper, Consasau, Bardi Key and Armando. Uh, Scott McKenna just back for international duty. Tired, obviously, because he was playing in the games before, the Tuesday, and then he played on like the Friday or something for Scotland. Hickey as well, knackered, McCrory suspended. So that's what we go with. Fingers crossed it's enough to get us through, because I want to win the treble. But the Kilmarnock side hoping to start Stop us looks like this. Xander Clark, Liam Smith, Somebody Burns, Grillo, Foulds, Batty, not Sean Batty, Todd Miller, Kelly, Umakwe, Kelty, who obviously plays them in real life, and Jack Aitchison. We should, 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 being the key word, have enough about us to get through this, despite the Porteous and Finlay partnership at the back. That centre half pairing is a bit more like a wrestling partnership in the tag team. They might just batter me in the locker rooms. But we're underway. I hope not. If they win, they might be a bit more happy. Okay, the first highlight looks like it's going to go our way. Uh, Consasau down the line. Cruz played him in. We're up 1-0 already. What a flying start. Big Bardi key. Fifth goal of signing uh, season since signing. He only came in in January. Consasau, the assist. We're off to an absolute flyer, ladies and gentlemen. There's still no ladies because we do not have a demographic for that. But, you know, who's, uh, who's wanting to show up? To watch me play football manager. I don't know why I'm still speaking. What a goal. We're up 1-0. We're on fire. Not sure what this all is all about. But I did it. And uh, I'm still doing it. I can't stop. Somebody please send help. Thank you. Funny that. Uh, Portis and Finlay. After I mentioned me a tag team partnership. Are all booked. Cruz as well. Jonathan's injured. It's all going absolutely off. Uh, I guess uh, Scott McKenna comes on. That's what we'll do. Just before half time as well. So that's. Absolutely excellent. So just as Hickey's back to fitness as well. Uh, now Con- now Jonathan's injured. Just as well brought Kadar back. He's cup tied for this. Contessau puts it in. They head clear. Dean Campbell picks it up. It's with Bardi Key. He shoots. It's absolutely terrible. We're well over the allotted time now. Can we just get half time in 1-0 please? Or 2-0 if you fancy it. Just don't give away a goal. Uh or don't get sent off, Felipe Cruz. And take it off, get stuck in at half time because three of the back four are on bookings and one of them's just come on. Contessao next in, they'll make it 2 0 before half time. He does. 15th goal of the season. Superb. I'm glad it went well over the allotted time. Thank you very much, Francisco, my Portuguese wonder boy. That was very interesting. Uh, Grillo got caught on it. Contessao nips in. That's what comes with a high pressing tactic. And he finishes it. I'm not in focus, but in the first half of the season, there's no way he would have finished that. He would have squandered the chance. He's been a lot better second half of the season. It's half time. We're 2 0 up. We deserve the lead. We're on fire. I'm still not in focus. I am now in focus. I'm delighted about the focus and the fact we're winning. The second half is underway. Get stuck in his off. I'm actually telling them to stay on their feet. Hopefully, they will listen to me and not disrespect my honour. 
Not sure where that came from. Kicks toward Miller though, apparently. Um, and now we're played. Still 2-0. I'd be quite happy to see nothing from now until the end of time for this game, that is. Uh, I'm still not in focus. What is happening? We were in focus for a long time through this series. And now I think I'm just spending most of the time out of focus. Finlay throws the ball onto the park and gives it away. Excellent stuff. Well done, buddy. And McKenna's cut it out though. Don't give it away. Nothing stupid. Third goal. Let's rest some legs, please. Uh, it's into Ferguson. He goes out to Consisau. Just wrap it up. Wrap it up nice and dandy. Get it? Nice and dandy? Yeah, nice, calm. Uh, Felipe Cruz. Now in. Armando heads over. I'm going to make some changes anyway, just to save some legs. Um, I'm trying to really ignore the fact uh, that it's at Hamden. It's a semi-final. It's the Scottish Cup. And Aberdeen just bottled one in disastrous fashion. Pain. Anyway, Bardi Key comes on for Ryan Fraser. If you do want to see me and Glenn uh, reacting uh, to giving our thoughts, basically, on the semi-final, then there will be a podcast out in the next couple of days, Red Tinted Glasses, on YouTube, on Spotify. Check it out. Great plug, Callum. Finlay at the back post. In Armando, 3-0. Game over. Stuart Finlay is the best left-back in the world. That's two assists he's had from being there at makeshift. What a man, the big ginger legend. I tell you what. Oh, I can't click on his name. I was going to nickname him uh, the Big Ginger Legend, but I feel like it's maybe too late for that in the series. Having said that, I just did Bardi Key, but he has a new signing. I'm all over the shop. Great finish, Armando. Armand goal. You know what? And I was just about to make a change, but Montipo has a free kick and he gives it away. Oh, thank you so much, Montipo. Uh, Toffinen, heads over. Absolute shocking. The Bass General's going to come in and get involved with the party. Contessau off. He's played excellently. Let's get things moving. Let's get Bass General a go. He loves it. He deserves it, more to the point. We're at home against Sociedad. We're not going to the Bass country just yet. We'll be going there in the next episode, so stay tuned for that. Uh, I'm sure we'll just get on the surveys as with uh, the big Bass General. Um, let's have a nice time, yeah, so we will. Uh, it's back with Montipo now. Not long to go in this game. Can we just play it out? Nothing silly. Don't concede. Keep the clean sheet. Good for confidence. Bounce back from that Hebs loss. Um, I will show you after the Falker game how, we do, how we're doing in the league. It's interesting, to say the least. The Bass General, though, he's free on the right-hand side. Fire it in or go yourself. Ideally, go yourself. Oh, no. Batty, cut it out. It's with Kelty. He goes long. Aitchison, oh no, 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 keep the clean sheet, that's absolutely rubbish, you're not going to score like that, little buddy. And here we are, we're into added time, this will be the last highlight before the end of the game, Felipe Cruz lobs it on, it's with the Bass General, go on mate, fire it, shoot, shoot! Again, he's just giving Dan Clark confidence because he's not played so well, he's conceded three, he's just a nice guy, okay, he's an all-round nice man, the nicest man in football, Tommy Hoban in real life, the Bass General in this, I'm telling you, fools, Aitchison, no clean sheet, um, oh well, we're in the final, 3-1, uh, we'll find out who we play, whether it's Queen's Park or Hamilton, stay tuned to find out, that's annoying that we've lost the clean sheet, but you know, what can you do, you know, beggars can't be choosers, as, as the saying goes. Uh, that was a good finish, actually. Unlucky him on tips. Uh, that should be it, I'd imagine. Let's just see it be it. It's it. We've smashed them. 3-1. We're in the final. We're going for it. We're going for the treble. This is the last dance. Cheers, Jeff. Oh, no. Jonathan's out for five to six weeks. That could be the end of his season. Why don't see Jonathan play again? I'm so sad. Aw. Got emotional attachment to these lads. Oh, I'm heartbroken. Okay, I bring very, very bad news. We had a three-goal lead against Falkirk, and we threw it away to draw 3-3. Worse than that, Consisau missed a pen, so we should have won it. It was a rotated team. Guys like Andras Qatar was in there, obviously because there was such a close-packed fixer, fixer schedule. So... Um, very unhappy, and even worse, Celtic won. So we're now just two points clear of them, five games to go. I'm very, very tense. It's squeaky bum time. I don't know. I think that's a bit dodgy, mate. Oh, and this is even worse. So now that that's uh, all the last games played before the split, I thought we had this spare weekend here. I thought maybe that's when the split starts. It'll be really quick, straight into it. No, no. We've got a spare weekend, so there was absolutely no need for that fixture congestion whatsoever. We could have played... Uh, Weekend, Thursday, weekend, Thursday. But oh no, no. Weekend, midweek, midweek gap. Why? What, what, why, football manager? Why? Sort it out for FM21, please. Why? What, what, why, football manager? Why? What is this? What, what is this? For what? Why? Anyway, this is the team that we go with against Real Sociedad in the first leg of the quarter-final of the Europa League. Montipo, Cruz, Portes, McKenna, Hickey's back in. Ferguson and Barron, not the ideal partnership, but uh, McCrory's suspended and 
Dean Campbell's not registered for the competition, so that's great stuff. Uh, we've got Consisau proper and Bardiki ahead of them with Armando leading the line as usual. Maishido Emmanuel, the ginger legend, he scored against Falkirk, it was a good goal, I got excited and I nicknamed him that. Abu Francis, the Basque general, Fraser who also scored and Edmondson who did too, so they're ready to go from the bench. Hopefully we're up for it, I'm very unhappy with all that's happened, so fingers crossed we can win and I won't cry. But the Sociedad team, hoping they will make me cry, is Blanco, Yedvai, Ruiz, Zubelda, Kufre, Moro, Neto, Thorsvet, Adnan, Yanezai, DePaul and Marino. I'm not even going to look at Marino or Ruiz because they're probably really good. The fact that Ruiz is captain, eh, uh, he's probably telling me he's pretty good regen. So I'm not going to look at him because I'll just get scared. Okay, we're underway at Kingsford in the quarterfinal of the Europa League, the first leg. The game that we're keeping an eye on is Chelsea Wolfsburg because we play one of them in the semi-final if we win this one. But Contessa was nicked in. Seven minutes on the clock. Ooh, that was close. Hit the side netting. Ferguson collects a clearance. It's with Porteous now. Felipe Cruz. Can we build it up? And I'm going to see a chance to start with in 15 minutes on the clock. Montipo now. Out wide to Scott McKenna. Come on, Dons. Let's do it. And please, please, please. I don't want to throw everything away. Um, I say that as if I'm not two points clear in the league and also uh, in the Scottish Cup final. But Contessar has booted one over. Wolfsburg have gone 1-0 up over Chelsea. They've got a red card. That is interesting. That's probably preferable if we go through. Because we've beaten a German team in this already. FC Köln. But it's 0-0 right now between us and Real San Sebastian. It's Real Sociedad. They don't have the naming rights. Contessar now though. Come on, let's get a goal before half time. That's not how you get a goal before half time. Um, Ruben Blanco. Okay, now it's half time. That seemed very odd. Nil nil. We're on top. A goal going over there would be ideal if we get it and keep the clean sheet. That'd be nice. It's called one nil, Callum. You fucking donkey. Second half of the first leg is underway. Hickey, McKenna, and Proper in the book. That's not ideal. Uh, I'll maybe take get stuck in at the hour mark. Probably a good idea, isn't it? Yeah. Let's uh, not collapse. Having said this, I will probably end up in tears because we will still get someone sent off. Because that's just what happens to me. It's my luck, isn't it? I, I, it I've paused it still. Uh, that was embarrassing. I've just said embarrassing wrong. Even worse. 20 minutes to go. Contessa has missed a few chances. So Ryan Fraser is going to come on to start with. And then we'll maybe bring the Bass General on for Bardi Key later on. 20 minutes to go. Are we going to see anything? I would take a nil-nil, to be honest. I would take a nil-nil, to be honest. I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. I shouldn't have said that. Oh no, shouldn't have said anything. Jan is I in. It's headed clear by Porteous. Oh my god, it's flicked over by William and Jose. Ten minutes to go. Uh, do I shut up shop and hold on for the nil-nil? I think I maybe do. And hold on for the nil-nil. I think I maybe do. Oh dear, we are in trouble. Okay, we've changed it to the three centre-back formation. I was about to say three at the back. Sort of five at the back. Hickey and Cruz in the wing-backs. Uh, who's come off? Dirk Proper's come off for the Ginger Legend in the centre half. And then Basque General's on for Bardi Key. Swap sides. And Armando is on a roll that I do not like. Advanced forward, mate. Get up there, get high up the park, play on the edge of the defenders. Oh dear lord, they've got a free kick. We're going to break and score is what we're going to do. Arnan Yanazai over it. The ex-Man United and Sunderland. <laughs> Man. Um, that, that, was, that was to both Man United and Sunderland, just for the record. No. Connor Barron missed cutting it out and Adnan Yanaga and Yanazai scores. They've got an away goal. That's not ideal. But we beat Villarreal after they got an away goal. So it's not impossible, but that is not good at all. Kufre, oh no. Connor Barron almost got a toe from it. A good finish from Adnan Yanazai, the former Man United Sunderland man. Ooh, hard man. And that will be it, I fear. Oh, that is painful. Should I have changed it? Probably not. But Real Sociedad win undeservedly. They go over there with a 1-0 lead. We've got it all to do. But if you do want to come back and find out to see how we do get on in the second leg, I think we'll come back with that in the next episode along with the Celtic game and I'll update you on the Hearts one in between. And then we'll see what happens with that, whether it's Euro Cup or it's just finishing the league and then the Scottish Cup final and then a special. But if you do want to come back from that, for that even, I'm all over the shop. Hit subscribe. I've probably just deterred the chances of doing that by that past 30 seconds but if you do fancy stick around as i said please do smash the subscribe button hit the like button as well to let me know you enjoyed the video if you didn't enjoy it though hit this like and comment down below let me know how i can improve also comment down below let me know how you think we'll get on in the remaining competitions and check out the red tinted glasses podcast as well we're about to preview the game against Hibs and review the terrible semi-final against celtic 
tonight at time of recording. So, you know, check that out. Why not? We have a good time. And we'll probably be very angry, so it's probably worth tuning in for. Thank you very, very much for watching and take care. Don't know why I'm doing this now. It's a thing. Can't stop again. Can't stop. Send help.